Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, sorry about the quality of the uh, but this is an old webcam. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial today uh, regarding alcohol markers. Um, not Copic specific. Um, I actually use a blend of three markers, Bic Markets, Spectrum Noirs, and Copic. Um, the Bic Markets are nice. Um, because it comes in a 36 pack. Um, you have two tips. There's one uh, 36 pack available with this fine nib tip. And then you also have a ultra fine um, tip, which is great for getting into small areas. Um, the Spectrum Noirs, uh, there is a nib tip as well. And a chisel tip. And then the Copics, um, as you know, have a chisel tip and a brush tip. So when I started with alcohol markers just recently, I purchased the Bic Markets. Um, loved them except for that there is not a large selection when it comes to the colors. Um, so I have slowly been investing in the Spectrum Noirs. Um, unfortunately, Copic is not... Um, in my price range at this time um, because I just had a baby. Um, I still have a couple packs of the uh, Spectrum Noirs to get. Um, they come as a six pack. Um, here is the grays um, and it gives you on the back, um, well actually underneath where the markers come, it tells you the different uh, packs available. I still have three to get the warm grays, the skin tones, and the greens. Um, but there were some Copic colors that I did want to purchase um, for skin uh, blending and things like that. So, um, so that's what I've done. Um, now, the the one thing that I did was I printed a, a color chart. Um, I made my own color chart out of Excel, um, and I colored in the markers that I actually have because I wanted to see the different um, variations or gradients of color so that I can blend um, the three marker brands more efficiently. Um, I made sure that I printed it on the paper that I use when I color, um, which is the Express It blending card, um, which uh, is very smooth so the ink stays wet longer, which ensures good blending. So today, I am going to be um, coloring this image here. Um, her name is Kimono Marcy. Uh, she is from La La Land Crafts. Um, I really love the images from La La Land. There's a lot of space to color and practice on. Um, so this is how I do it. Um, one thing is, is that I do make sure that I keep a uh, scratch sheet of paper underneath um, because the marker does tend to uh, bleed through, which is okay. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, work on her bangs. Um, so I'm going to take my um, Spectrum, Spectrum Noir um, Ice Gray 1 and I'm going to find out where my highlight's going to be. In this case I'm looking at her head on, um, so this in area right here will be the highlighted area for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a uh, layer of ink just to wet the surface so that I've got a good blending area to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with my second to darkest color, um, which is Ice Gray 8 by Spectrum Noir. And I'm just going to fill in my area of color along the lines. The next color is Ice Gray 6, and I'm just going to take and I'm going to pull that color out 
so that I can um, kind of smooth away that harsh line. And I don't know if you are picking up any type of a sound, um, but really I'm not pressing that hard, it's just the sound from the microphone. And then my next color is Ice Gray 4. Same thing, pulling the color into the highlighted area. And then I'm going to go to Ice Gray 2. And then I am going to use a Copic uh, C1 just to pull everything in. And now I am going to go to my darkest color, which is Ice Gray 10. Then back to my ice gray 8. Again, pulling in that color. Ice gray 6. into now what I can also do is go back and kind of push color out of the highlighted area kind of like you would with uh, the colorless blender just to kind of expand my shaded area some more Actually, going to go back uh, with some ice gray six. gray four. Um, the next area that I'm going to work on is going to be uh, this area right here and so my highlight is actually going to be right in this area. Um, this time it's such a small area I'm actually going to saturate the entire thing
And again, I'm going to start with my second to darkest color, which is Ice Gray 8. I'm going to ice gray six. And right now, because it's such a it's a smaller area, I'm kind of just dabbing the color. Get that blend and then ice gray too. And going back with my ice gray 10, which is my darkest color again. Gray eight, six. and two. Now I, to me there's a little, um, little too much highlight over here, so I am going to kind of darken just a little bit more this area right here. So I just used the ice gray eight and now some ice gray four. I skipped over the six just to give that good blend. And then for her bun, I'm going to take my um, Copic C1 and Saturate almost all the way out to the end. And then I'm going to do the ice gray um, eight. And then six. Four. And I'm actually going to take my C1 and pull all that color forward all the way to the tip. And now I'm going to go back with my ice gray 10. gray 8 6 
four. And two. And as you can see, that's how I color her hair. And just repeated it on the exact same side. Here is um, a completed one that I did. Um, and that's it. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Um, I will uh, do more tutorials um, as I get better at uh, coloring um, using more markers. I, I know this time I didn't use the big markets, um, but I do use them when I color some of the other regions um, and in some of my hair colors. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.